Hello my dear friends welcome to win chemistry today we are going to discuss one of the degradation method of alkaloids that is hopman exhaustive methylation now what do you mean by hopman exhaustive methylation as the name says this is a scientist name who has done this work exhaustive methylation just remember this exhaustive methylation word i will explain you why it is exhaustive methylation and it's a very simple mechanism or simple degradation method usually it will come for examination for five marks even for competitive also they may ask you so remember two things you remember when this hopman exhaustive methylation will be done one for saturated systems the system whatever you are taking it must be saturated system that that means it it does not have it should it does not have sing a double bonds absence of unsaturation must be there second one is beta hydrogens must be present in the molecules beta hydrogens are must in the structure so this two things you remember now i will take an example of pyridine pyridine ring so let's do hopman exhaustive methylation on this ring so before that i will tell you why we do hopman exhaustive methylation now remember we do this for the alkaloids or the compounds containing nitrogen atoms so when we do this hopman exhaustive methylation we are removing this nitrogen from the ring or we are we are uh, coming to know the nature of the nitrogen which is present in the ring okay so the, for that we are doing hopman exhaustive methylation so now if you understand the mechanism so you will understand what we why we do this all things and all hmm. so let's start so this is an hopman exhaustive methylation i have taken a pyridine now if you see the pyridine nucleus this is an unsaturated form so, so what is the condition it must be saturated so what i will do i will do the reduction of the pyridine so to get the unsaturated form to saturated form so now two things you, re you should remember so now next step is methylation now when we do methylation methylation we do in the presence of ch3i and any base you can use k2co3 na2co3 any mild bases you can use now of you remember there are lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen ch3 will be carrying plus i will be minus so plus will come towards this nitrogen hmm? so what we get quaternary ammonium salt n ch3 will come here so it will be plus it will be i minus understood so now what will happen is obviously this h will give electrons here and when i use okay now just remember i am using an agoh here agoh is used as de de dehydrating agent okay now what will happen minus h2o is removed minus h2o is removed remember is again here ag plus and oh minus so here i minus is there so ag plus and i minus will combine so what you will get agi this oh minus and this will be coming out as h plus so when it was coming out as h plus so it's here n ch3 now again lone pair electron lone pair of electrons will come on the nitrogen along with that this h plus and this oh minus will come out as water and this ag plus and i is the agi we are not bothered about this agi okay so we got this so next is further we have to do methylation till that time where when till when we don't get this nitrogen out of the ring okay now this is our structure now whatever we have got from this uh, two steps two to three steps now directly again i will do ch3i methylation in presence of base again plus minus lone pair of electrons again it will come here okay this ch3 this will ch3 will come here nitrogen will get a positive charge because of four bonds and it is a i minus now remember what is a beta hydrogen here now the nitrogen is here next to the nitrogen who is there alpha carbon and beta carbon this we can name it as a gamma carbon so next to this nitrogen who is here alpha carbon 
beta carbon and gamma carbon so remember very important is this two hydrogens now i have told you right here beta hydrogen is very important so these two hydrogens are very important for us okay so remember i will write simple clean structure for you now let's write clean structure let's not make it dirty h h here okay and i have got plus charge on this i minus on this now just see here what i get is what i may get now when it, when i do when i again react this with agoh when i again react with agoh so what will happen this hydrogen will come here and this bond will be shifted on the nitrogen because of that what will happen any one side you can do the other side will do it later okay other side will do it later yan this is ch3 this is ch3 right as it is you want so now this bond has been break broken okay and here there is a double bond now only one hydrogen is left here beta hydrogen now still this nitrogen is in touch with this part so completely we need to remove so yes no plus aj is formed minus h2o is formed if you want you can write every time it is not not necessary so further now again lone pair of electrons have come again i will do methylation so sa same steps you are doing every time you have to do till that time till nitrogen won't come out so now again this ch3 will go and attach here now totally three ch3 groups again i minus now where is the beta hydrogen here is the beta hydrogen so this beta hydrogen comes here this bond comes here what i will get when it, when you add agoh this this all things happens so water is removed h2o is removed this agi is removed hmm? what do you get this structure see here this structure we get plus yan ch3 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 Yes or no? Along with AGI and H2O, so now we got nitrogen out. After how many steps? After how many methylation? One, two, three methylation. After three methylation, we have got nitrogen out of the ring. So this is the product. Later, this will isomerization takes place. Isomerization, you will get alpha beta unsaturated form. So this is the product which we will get after isomerization. So this is the end of Hoffman exhaustive methylation. so what are the requirements one is the saturated structure so this is the saturated system and one more is beta hydrogen and uh, what i told in the beginning why we call it as exhaustive methylation we are doing continuous methylation till we get nitrogen out of the ring so this is known as exhaustive methylation okay exhaust we are exhausting that molecule by doing methylation so this is called as exhaustive methylation hope you have understood so you can't do see you can't do hopan exhaustive methylation on unsaturated system and the system which do not have beta hydrogen and overall if you want to remove so first what we do we remove the hydrogen which is attached to the nitrogen okay we remove the hydrogen which is attached to nitrogen then we remove the hydrogens which are present at the beta position so this is the one degradation method of the alkaloid this is known as hopan degradation method so hope you have understood and if you like the video please like it if you want any other videos on any other concepts of chemistry please give a comment on that topic name so i will prepare and i will send that video to you soon on the soon on my channel please tell your friends to sub subscribe my channel so it may help you to understand the concepts in a easy way thank you for watching the video thank you very much